Hi everyone, welcome back to Enter the Dream. My name is Liam. We've got a special guest here today. This is Niall. Say hello. Hi guys. Oh, yeah, so uh, Niall's that annoying drummer from um, the last video, the last College Geek review. So we're both going to have a look at the band that was on just before us and see how much better, or worse, they were. So, if I remember rightly, you were on lighting for this one. Yeah, yeah. And I was on amazing camera work, which you're about to see. So, I say we just we just get started. Let's go for it. So, um, I think the only person I've worked with in this on who's on stage at the moment is Emmy, who's on bass. Uh, she was in the first college review, review I did. And you can tell she's not a bassist at the moment. <laughs> I know, no, she is bassist. Just playing us all. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> and then there's Josh here, who um, borrowed my um, wireless guitar pack, and he's just roaming around the stage majestically. <laughs> I think my uh, camera works amazing. I don't think you know we've started on the lighting though, do you? <laughs> One thing I didn't what question is um, Heaven and Hell. I hear. Uh, Black Sabbath, I think they said. Oh. Um, but one thing I didn't question in the last video is, why are these bongos on stage? Did anyone actually play them? <laughs> that light in there. <laughs> oh, I tried my bloody best, you know. I know, I, I think you did an amazing job. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't quite as good as the camera work, but... Oh, oh, of course, of course. Surprised you didn't get put on the door again. <laughs> I was meant to be, I just kind of ditched my post on this one. It's like I knew I was going to be doing videos on this crap in years to come. Is it me or can I not even hear that guitar? I can't really. It's really quiet, isn't it, in the mix? Yeah, 100%. Did we have a student on the mix in for this one? Might have been Joe again. No, it wasn't. It was an actual person who works there. Oh, really? Yeah. I sat next to him. Yeah, the guitar is so quiet. For me it was perfect though, whatever they did in mine, it was fine. There's the hat, there's the hat! Oh my god, Someone handed it, I just saw it. I don't know, I didn't recognise it. But yeah, just a random appearing hat. Come from just a nice rock band like Michael Jackson out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not sure what style this band is going for, you know. It's like with our band, we were all dressed kind of nice, and then there's just you at the back in a hoodie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Not that I got a problem with the hoodie. I just, I really don't know what this band's style is though. It's like drummers just have their own style and the band goes on without them. Oh yeah, I'm just saying. I thought Alex's technique was a lot better than mine, I'm just saying. <laughs> in fairness, in fairness, for a lot of uh, this gig it was more slower ballad kind of songs. Spoilers for what's to come anyway. I can't even hear that guitar at all. I can't. No, it's just it's you can't hear it. It could it could either be the it could either be the actual camera not picking it up as well, or could it could be. be sound issue. Could be. Let's just take a minute though, how nice is that guitar? It's like glowing in that light. Woo! 
I thought it was a good tight performance. It was, it was pretty good, that one. Um, it's the only one they have um, this singer, though. Swap out for mm. Emmy now. Do you remember what this singer's called? Uh, she was... She, she was like a season or a month of the year. What? <laughs> I do remember what she was called, I'm just trying not to name as many people. They didn't ask to be put on these videos. Alright. So, our second song is... Oh, Hello. <laughs> you got two of me narrating this one. That's a dream come true for you. What? <laughs> Did they did, didn't they? I lent, I lent it to them because uh, the base didn't have one. Did you take it back? Uh, well, no, because I was busy filming, wasn't I? <laughs> but I had to put up my guitar after this, and oh. they had taken it up really high because uh, she's a bit shorter than me. I thought we were four days. Uh, she's saying like she's five foot four and I'm five foot eleven, so. <laughs> In fact, she's wearing it quite low there, so it's okay. Well, you were saying about Michael Jackson, weren't you? Yeah. It's like you knew it was coming. Ah, the guitar's better now. You can hear it in the mix. Oh, yeah. Is it going to record that on screen? It said my internet connection isn't stable. Sorry. See, I'm, I'm that good at filming that I managed to get the balcony that I'm stood on in the frame as well. Were you actually doing anything on the lighting at this point? Oh, what happened was is, I turned around to the guy and said, Oh, does it make as much purple light as possible? Is that because of Josh? Sorry, go on. I pressed a few things on my desk, mm -hmm. and then um, I just couldn't put the effects on. Literally, it was just purple light in front of me. I remember thinking, what, the sod it, this, that's it. <laughs> Well, um, I think it kind of works though with uh, Josh being dressed as Prince. Yeah, I think it's a sign, but when you've got a purple one in front of the whole thing, there's no effects, it's a bit He had some effects, <laughs> he got strobe every now and then. They should have let us use uh, pyrotechnics on stage. That would have been more fun. Get a light roll. <laughs> Set everything alive. <laughs> Take it back, that guitar is actually still a bit quiet. It is, 100%. Oh, it's I forgot they had a keys player. They forgot about the keys. <laughs> she, she, they've put the keys so far away from everything else, haven't they? Look at all, there's the rest of the band in this one shot here. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if they didn't show keys, I wouldn't have had no clue. That's because I'm such a good cameraman, you know? I get everyone on the film.
Oh, he's a back to himself and keeps seeing it. Yeah, yeah, he's putting a few different lighting techniques up there. Was oh, is that Dean? Yeah. What are you doing with that light? <laughs> just, they're just flashing in and out. Oh, it's the acoustic one now. Oh, really? <clears throat> I should just ask. I'm not saying that. Did, what did you ask? <laughs> what did you ask? What did Emmy ask? No, oh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Given that it's a music review, you would think I should be actually using my ears, but oh well. <laughs> I spent more time talking about the lighting and video uh, work <laughs> in this one. So far, it's been a tight performance, 100%. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I think that's what we did wrong. We didn't do an acoustic song, did we? We Should have been you and me just doing an acoustic song like this. Serenade, everyone. <laughs> You'd definitely be singing then. Oh, yeah, you would. <laughs> What's this song called? Extreme More Than Words. You had heard of it. <laughs> Those keys have just caught a note. I know. I feel so sorry for her. She's like way off on the edge of the stage. No one's like. <laughs> when you hear it, it's just like, well, hold on, is there a keyboard player? <laughs> I thought the keyboard drummer and the bassist walked off. <laughs> you know? I remember they were meant to do harmonies for this one, but um, they kind of didn't have another microphone, so, oops. Ooh. Whoever gave him that guitar obviously didn't tune it. Ooh, that's not nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's the only thing with changing instruments there. Come that's back it. to it and it could be in a different tune to how you left it. See, I've managed to get everyone in frame at this point. <laughs> All that's left of the band, anyway. It was a good idea if you thought this was cold. Um, well, I'm not giving names on here anyway, but uh, <laughs> I'll tell you after. But um, I think it's clever of them to put this song in the middle of their set. It just breaks it up a little bit more. Yeah. Especially with the genre, 100%. Yeah. Good change. Yeah, even if it is a bit out of tune. <laughs> yeah, I think it's on They're just, yeah. I was panning over to them because they were just talking all the way through it. You can hear them on the camera. Like that is just pretty rude, you know? Even though the keyboard has an, adds another extra layer of Harmony? essentially texture to yeah. the song, I don't think it was entirely needed, I think it was forced upon, I think if it was just guitar yeah. and vocals you would have got a better result. Mm. But also that guitar is a bit out of tune. So having the keys next to the guitar, because the keys won't go out of tune, it makes it more noticeable. Yeah. 
But yeah, you can't really help stuff like that. It happens. I know. As soon as you start it, you can't stop. You just don't go with it. How good would it have been if you just smashed the guitar? Yeah, that's the point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set it on fire. Uh, that's not he stole the drum stool. How would you feel if I did that? Nobody touches the throne. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. You just make sounds. Yeah. You're taking over Rachel, too. I love how it's, you're not even talking, but it looks like you're talking. You can chill this. I am. I'm really good at this. I'm also just having conversations with uh, the voices in my head, just constantly. Can you see him for it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the other thing that makes me sad about this is we had a saxophone player on our course, didn't we? Yeah. Oh well. I think she had left by this point actually. Uh, yeah. She didn't stay till the end. Yeah, left early. Remember I was meant to be in a band with her twice, and both times she didn't show up for the gigs. <laughs> Maybe it's a reflection of your character? Probably. Oh, you got spotlights, what are you doing? Too good at my job. This is incredible. <laughs> Obviously... Josh is a bit more free roaming on the stage, but you get everyone else in the spotlight. <clears throat> Don't know to me, though. <laughs> well, you got them perfectly lined up anyway. Purple again. <laughs> oh, 100%. You can't get rid of it once you found it. I like how she sings it a bit different to the original as well. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, I'm liking the flow of it. I really am. Yeah. The dynamic. It's, it's the whole set so far. It's flowed really well. It does. Because I think that was something we had trouble with in our band, especially because we lacked a bass player. We had no real dynamics going on. No, there's no room. No. There's no room to like, move about. Yeah. I do feel sorry for the drummer though, this sounds like quite a boring song to drum. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really what you play, it's how you play it. Keys play a bit so far. Yeah? Even though we're just like, hold on, there's a keys player. No, it's not much. Yeah, the mix isn't as good on this set as it was in ours. Like, weird, I think the keys are louder than the guitar. <laughs> they are! It's so weird. Even the bass is louder than the guitar. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Like a breakdown. There we go. <laughs> that was the 
That flowed really well. Yeah, that was. Keys at the end. Yeah, that was a really good way to end it. You know, it's better than just ending it the same way on every song, isn't it? Or can I just you whispering to uh, the person next to you? It's time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't time. It wasn't time. Just so you know. They had another song on the set that I forgot about. Oh. And all I can hear is drums. They've got no bass for this song either. I was just what I say, did you have no bass? No, she's put it down. It sounds kind of empty. Without. That's the thing with bass though, you only realise it when it's not there. I wonder if it's I wonder if it, what if they just give them more of a bass? Well, not, not a bass, but you know, a bass to the song. Hmm. I mean, I suppose the mixing guy could have boosted the bass in the keys, maybe? But, still. It's fine in the something to solidify the song and the bass would have just helped it but yeah. at the same time did you do a bad job no no it's just the presence of that bass missing is that detrimental to the fourth song yeah that's, question. that's the thing they had uh, two vocalists and no bassist in this band really i mean she knew how to play bass but she was more marked as a vocalist I think I was meant to be helping a lot of the songs originally, but uh, they ended up cancelling it. They were going to do a Tool song, and I was so happy. But then they had like a huge band shakeup at the last minute, and they like changed all the songs and about half the band members. It's hard to tell, but the vocals are pretty quiet in this one as well. All the drums are too loud, it's one of the two. See, he's gone, he's gone a bit quiet on the dynamics now. Changing dynamics. Yeah. But yeah, just about that bass, I know what you mean. It's, it doesn't sound right. In most of the songs that they've done, you know, it's quite important to have a bass. I think we got away with it pretty well on our, on our set. Oh, we did. It was the fact she used and... Yeah. It also helped that about five out of uh, eight gigs that we did throughout college, we didn't have a bassist at all. <laughs> Very unfortunate. No one wants to play it, that's the problem. They've not been good to the guitarist on this one, it's so quiet. Can you hear any of that? No, not at all. I don't think it helps that we can't even hear it. Hmm. I 100% feel like if the bass was implemented, the singer could do bass and sing at the same time. Yeah. With mean, more of a backbone. It would doesn't have to be complicated bass stuff, does it? No, it doesn't. Basic, basic notes, root notes. Yeah. Now it's time, and here's where he's yeah, messed up the amp time. settings. This was literally like a month or two after he passed away as well, so this was like the perfect song they could have ended with.
Yeah. She got a really good voice. Um, I don't know how to describe it really. Point something out. The uh, drummer got a guitar pick around his neck. Why? Uh, like <laughs> Ooh. So you, you need more purple at this point. What are you doing? Drastically purple. <laughs> Dangerously I think, purple. I don't know if it's gonna kick it at any point. It's like a ultraviolet gives them a tan. that. Yeah. Guarantee if I did that would have cracked my voice or something. I will try it. And the whole band is on this side of the stage. The keys player, does it completely exist? What they needed right there was a key tab. Mm. Nice. The guitar is still too quiet though. But you can hear it, but it's just not oh, cutting yeah. through. It's not cutting through. Okay. The most important part as well, the solo. I'm trying to say, because it's going to attack the song, the guitar's the main vocal part. Yeah. He's such a show off though, it's brilliant. Oh, yeah. The crowd just go, oh! <laughs> I don't understand how he didn't get a high mark for this set. No. It wasn't his fault that the guitar was out of tune or the mix wasn't right. Unavoidable. I know. But this was a really, really good set. I won't lie, I was pretty scared to go on after them. And the set was absolutely like, spot on. Yeah. And the uh, blow was it the best band of the night, or the best performance of the night? I think it was, it must have been. Just a rhetorical question. I think it was. Then again, for most of them I stood at the door, so... Uh... <laughs> Interesting way to end it. It was very interesting. But yeah, I really like that one. That is it. That's the video. 
So, what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts? Uh, solid set. Uh, mm -hmm. Went really well. Whacked a few parts in some of the songs, mm -hmm. like the bass. I don't understand why you'd miss it yeah. the song. Like, it's the main, main bass of the song, but regardless, it was a real good set. Yeah. And would it, to say it was better than ours, yeah, 100% it was better, because the flow was so much better. Yeah. And plus, I don't know, it just worked all together. Like yeah. I said, I think the uh, acoustic part really did separate it all. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought it was really good. Yeah, I, I mean, I completely agree with you. Our set was a, a bit rushed towards the end because we lost the basis, but their whole band was sh shook up at the last minute as well. So, you know, it's just how you adapt to it, really, isn't it? 100%. It's, it's the way that they've gone on and performed so well, and I think that reflects to the type of musicians that they are. And, yeah. you know, the mindset. It, everyone's different. Now, exactly. They 100% nailed it, I believe. Yeah. I'm still annoyed that they left the chorus effect on the amp, though. <laughs> Not forgiving for that one. <laughs> the first song and a half was just like, why does my guitar sound like this? Are we going to church? <laughs> so chorus. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> but yeah, that is, um, that is the end of the video. So I don't think I have any more of these college gigs. I mean, I think, do you have one? Don't you have a copy of one that we did? I might do. If you do, please send that know. to me, because I've, I've really enjoyed doing these videos, and they seem to get the most views, so I think you guys enjoy them too. Um, if there's any other content you want me to cover in the future, be sure to leave that down in the comments, along with any suggestions, and that is all I have time for. Thank you so much for watching.